Good morning, Panther Nation and the rest of the people watching across the world. I'm David Smith. And I'm Alexandria. And we're back with another episode of the Sports Zone. We're going to get right to the PV News. The volleyball team faced the TSU Tigers yesterday and lost two, three, two out of the three sets. Um, the defense was strong yet again, but off, unfortunately the offense wasn't there. And I think that comes from just them not being, you know, family orientated as a team. Because um, when it comes to defense, you know, in any sport, you're going to go hard. Yeah, defense wins games. Offense, yeah, offense has to get. <laughs> but <laughs> as offense in volleyball, you need to be as one. Mm -hmm. And if, if y'all not there as a family or y'all not there, like, team-wise, then it's not, it's not going to go, and that's for any sport. Okay. Well, the PV women's soccer team will play Al the defending SWAC champions, Alabama State, this today. Uh, at the PV Stadium. Yes, everybody, please show support. Soccer team, the stands be empty. Please, y'all show support. They they be bringing the heat. They win games. Just make sure y'all bring some suntan lotion or. At some, night. It be hot. At 7 p.m. It be hot. <laughs> I'm telling you, it be still be a good 80 degrees. Still be out there sweating. You right. Crazy. <laughs> Who knows the Texas weather. They'll also be playing Alabama A&M on Sunday at 1 p.m., so make sure y'all come out to that game as well. And definitely bring your suntan lotion and your, your umbrellas and your hats. It will be hot. All right, going into some baseball news, the Rockies faced the Dodgers last night and came out with a loss, unfortunately, in 10 innings. Uh, the Dodgers seem to be basically too strong at home. Jock Peterson had a good game. Uh, also some home runs from Hernandez and Muncie. Pretty much they're unbeatable at home. Can't really do anything about that. The game was kind of depressing. Depressing. <laughs> the Dodgers, like, just, it was, it was crazy. Yep. It was just like the the Braves wasn't bringing it. They wasn't. I wouldn't say they wasn't bringing it, but the Dodgers, well, the Braves, most of their players that are playing are, like, 25 and younger. But so. sometimes having a young team is. It can be a good thing, but when nobody's had playoff experience, that could hurt you, especially going to L.A. You're right. Yeah, which was interesting. Uh, Clayton Kershaw didn't even start, but I'm not surprised. You give the man his rest. We had Ryu starting, which he's had a good year, so they're just happy to come out with that win. Right. The Yankees faced the Oakland Athletics they last did. night in New York and came out with a, a solid win. Music to my ears. Music to your ears. I'm a big Yankees fan. Dang, y'all ain't going to do that against Astros, though. We might. No. Nah. I mean, I'm an Astros fan too, but. How you going to be Astros and Yankees fan? But, like, you know, because we in Houston. So? Yeah. That don't mean nothing. I'm a Lakers fan. We not even going to get on that. But um, <laughs> the Yankees, they they might bring the heat. Don't ever <laughs> underestimate the Yankees. I don't we, know. we might not be have. We might not always have the best seasons. Mm -hmm. Y'all had a good one this year. But when it's time, we're going to bring it. And I feel like. The asteroids, we're going we gonna to show a little work. They we'll might see. get this work. We'll see. Um, going into NFL news, the Colts faced the Patriots last night, and a surprisingly close win. The Patriots came out with a dub, 38-24, uh, to 24, but. It's not surprising. Yeah. The Colts are 1-4. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, that's surprising that they, they were able to keep up with them. But congratulations to Tom Brady. He had his 500 touchdown last night. That's only he's only the third quarterback in NFL history to have 500 or more touchdowns, which pretty much puts him in the Hall of Fame. No question about it. He the goat. He the goat. He the goat. <laughs> uh, surprising game from Andrew Luck, who had 365 yards and three three touchdowns. Um, yeah, pretty much the Colts. They're trying to do something in the AFC South, but with the Jag Jacksonville Jaguars and the Titans, and it looks like the Texans are starting to make their way up the highway. We, we. Mm. I don't know. The Colts pretty much got no chance in the AFC South. They don't. Uh, going into the to a, a new topic we have today, since it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we wanted to touch on women's empowerment in sports and their type of impact and the type of issues that that are, are they going that on? they're being faced. Yeah. yeah. We're going to start off with Serena, Serena Williams. Serena Williams, my wife. All right, now. Don't, don't let her husband know. <laughs> What's up? The, uh, the 23 Grand Slam winner had a fit. 
yeah. at the U.S. Open. US yeah, Open? U.S. Open. Yes. One was for her. Her. Her what suit. She had on. Yes. And the second was for her. Outbreak or outlet. Her outburst. Outburst. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we can go with outburst. Um, started off with her her cat suit, and I feel like they didn't let her wear the cat suit because she just looked too good yeah. in it. She came back with a tutu, and a I feel tutu. like that was the the best way to come back. Like, you want to let me wear my cat suit, so I'm gonna put on a little. You want me to wear a skirt? I'm gonna wear a tutu. You look good. You feel good. You play good. Facts. Um. The the outburst. Was it necessary? What do you think? Was it needed? I feel like it was needed because to me, I feel like she was robbed of that game. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was it was a fair square game up until the end. Like you didn't have to take that point away from her. You right. didn't because when a man does it, you don't do that to him. Do you? Right. Yeah. Like I just feel like it should have been equal. Like and then her her coach, he shouldn't have talked to any to anybody, period. He shouldn't have had any conversation with any reporter before he talked to his athlete because your athlete is saying y'all don't have codes, you that wasn't coaching and then right. you tell a reporter that was coaching. If y'all so, don't have codes, right. how is that coaching? So I don't understand why he would even I feel like he threw her under the bus and he should have talked to his athlete before he talked to anyone else. And they should have had it like, you know, what were you doing? Right. Well it's definitely some type of Pretty much, I'm gonna say it's pretty much sexism that's going on in the sport. Whenever a male athlete has like an outburst, <coughs> nobody's getting fined. Nobody's pretty much dealt with the way Serena was. But she's always been very passionate about right, the Right, but you can say that for Rafael Nadal. You can say that for Roger Federer. You can say that for anybody, really. Right. But they're not gonna get the same consequences. They're not, and they're not gonna get the the reactions that everyone else got. Right. Because I felt like they held her, you know, they hold all of the athletes on a high pedestal. Mm -hmm. But it's like. It's different when you're the highest paid female athlete in the world and you have this type of impact that she's made. You're right. But I feel like the reaction at the end when they were giving out trophies was so <laughs> unnecessary. The booing. Right. That, I mean, that that's was, the fans. That's them. I mean, as a fan, them. I don't think I would be out there booing because, you know, I was rooting for both of them regardless of mm -hmm. who came out with the dub. I just feel like they should have paid Baby Girl the same respect because she did, she worked hard that whole right. that whole set, that whole game. And I just feel like maybe if it went, you know, all the way without them taking points from her or, you know. Speaking of equal rights, the WNBA has came out and said that they want to be paid more as NBA players. And how do you feel about that? Um, <laughs> I feel like they should be paid more, but to a certain extent, I don't think they should be paid as much as NBA players. I don't even think NBA players should be paid as much as they get paid. You're right, but the highest paid woman in the WNBA is, they only get paid 115000 and yeah. like the lowest paid NBA player is 838000 Right. Like you see the difference yeah. in that? And when you, you hear an NBA player contract, it'd be a million, it's right. like whatever the number is and then million. You don't ever hear that with WNBA, and I feel like maybe they should at least get a million, mm -hmm. not even like you know the number and then a million, but at least a million, because they're doing just as much as the NBA is. Do you think it's harder to get in the NBA <coughs> than in the WNBA? Because it's not really for the, I I don't really know too much about how they get selected. I just know they have a draft, but I'm not sure if they have like a G League like the NBA does. So there's only really two ways to get into actually three, you got the international G League and then the draft pretty much. So do you think they need more opportunities for like women to be? But I feel like, I mean. To get in the WNBA? You don't want to make it too easy though. You are right, but dang. They still need to, if you want higher pay, you need to bring that heat. You, you know, like, you got to come with something. You got to you gotta be somewhat good, you, got, you know? So do you think they should get paid more? <laughs> I do because they do be out there working hard. They do they work just as hard as the mm -hmm. NBA. You know, they train hard. They play hard. Um, I just feel like they're not promoted as much as the NBA because you always see commercials about upcoming right. games, about you know, the athletes with their promotions and stuff. Or not their promotions, but their – Commercials, shoe yeah. deals. What else? All of that. Endorsements and stuff like that. Yeah, but for the WNBA, you don't get, you don't see none of that. Like, 
That's you don't true. talk. You don't talk about their shoe deals if they do have shoe deals. You don't talk about like what commercials they in. They don't have contracts with like Sprite and stuff. You know, right. like how LeBron does. Like even on talk talk shows, the sports talk yeah, shows, you really don't see no WNBA players. They don't talk about unless you like, like Candace Parker. Yeah, but and it's like they either stop talking about them preseason or playoffs. Playoffs. There is no midseason for the WNBA on TV, so it's like nobody knows. So that's why their crowd is small, and I feel like that's why they're being paid less because they don't have the viewer. They're not getting the attention that they need. Yeah. That makes sense. Same could be said for the women's soccer, USA team, and hockey. But that's a... Wait, women a, have a hockey team? Exactly. Wow, I'm learning cold. something new every day. <laughs> yeah, they're cold. But we're going to get on that next week. Uh, this is all the time we have, folks. I'm David Smith. I'm Alexandria And we're going to see y'all Monday. Later, y'all.